welcome to the 17 TD Vancouver Chinatown Festival. Uh, 欢迎大家来到我们今天道明第十七届道明华否节现在我们的典礼正式开始 so we are Jessica Zhang and Michael Ying from Vancouver Chinatown BIA Society. Uh, I'm Wuxiguang. My colleague, this lady, is Zhang Ziyou. President of the Vancouver Chinatown BIA Society to say a few words. Thank you, Michael and Jessica. Good afternoon, how's everybody doing? That's great. So, uh, representatives from the, the three levels of the Canadian government, uh, uh 今天我們華埠在一年之內有一個很多的發展大家看得到大廈林立也有新的商鋪也今天我們特別給華埠知道我們今年是特登是五切這麼多飲食的檔位對單攤檔的為什麼呢因為華埠開了一個新的食肆開
Thank you, Albert. Now, please welcome Mr. Jordan Ng, co-chair of the TD Vancouver Chinatown Festival and vice president of the Vancouver Chinatown BIA Society, to say a few words. Thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. I don't have quite the oratory uh, abilities as Albert, so I, I did have to write a few notes here. So, uh, thank you. Thank you to all our distinguished guests, family and friends that have all shown up to, to be with us. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but I think uh, we always pick the best weekend with the best weather to uh, to enjoy Chinatown, and uh, hope everyone stays after this event to uh, enjoy what we have what we have today. On behalf of the organizing committee of the TD Vancouver Chinatown Festival, um, it, it really gives me great pleasure. That this is uh, I think my fifth or sixth year where I've been able to come and speak to all of you and uh, and welcome you. Um, this is one of the largest uh, summer multicultural events in the city, and our, as Albert said, our theme this year is Hong Kong and Vancouver, Gateways to the Pacific, in celebration of our cross-Pacific connection and the importance of Hong Kong to so many of us, our families and friends. And we see the, uh, the Pacific not as a boundary, but as, as really a connection between the two cities. As always, uh, our event is one of the few uh, festivals during the summer that really truly uh, is the focuses on family and the youth, bringing people from across the city. And um, this year we have almost 200 youth uh, volunteers that are delivering this exciting weekend. Our group of uh, youth leaders have truly been a, a pleasure to, to work with. They are smart focused and organized, and I'm really pleased with what they will showcase today. Uh, as, besides being a weekend to bring people into Chinatown for the festival, it's, it offers an opportunity for, for all our residents in Vancouver to come and see what the neighborhood is and, uh, and how it's evolved. As Albert says, we have a lot of new food eateries and unique stores that, uh, that, are, are, uh, that are, are the uh, faces of, of Chinatown and and, uh, and we're really proud of that. Um, while Justin, who will be coming up later, will uh, will be speaking more about what, what we have to offer today, I did want to, to announce, make one announcement of this evening's uh, highlight for Street Fest. We have a, a live band and when the sun goes down, we'll be hosting, as part of our theme of Hong Kong, an iconic Hong Kong martial arts movie. Rush Hour 2. <laughs> I know some of you were thinking Bruce Lee, but according to Wikipedia, this movie is the highest grossing martial arts film of all time. So, uh, we th yes it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't make up those, uh, those stats. So, uh, <laughs> and we'll be serving free popcorn and con cotton candy. So I hope all of you will be back here. Um, I'd like to thank our major uh, supporter, the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office, and our, the officials representing us here are all the way from uh, Toronto, so we thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to thank the TD Bank Group for their continued support as our title sponsor, and we have uh, their mascot here uh, to my right, and this, uh, this is the, the fifth year that they've um, uh, in our uh, title sponsor. So uh, TD Bank supports uh, Canada's rich, diverse communities and through their, through their generous, generous supports of events such as ours. So they should really be celebrated and thanked for that, uh, that support. Um, without further delay, I, I know uh, Michael and Jessica will be introducing uh, Justin, but I, I'd like to give my own introduction. Uh, Justin, who is to my left, He's been a volunteer with us, I believe, five years now, and he started with his brothers, his brother and sister, who were volunteers as well. He's risen through the ranks. He's been a team leader, and uh, this year he's our co-chair. He spent countless hours with our team, putting together this event, and, he, and he's shown true leadership and dedication. And he's only 15, 16 now, so uh, I think that's well worth an applause there. So. So, uh, with great pleasure, I, I welcome you all here today. Thank you. Thank you, 
Jordan. Now please, next, please welcome Mr. Justin Kwan, co-chair of the Volunteer Chinatown Festival to say a few words. Jordan. 跟住落嚟啦,我哋有請我哋今屆華埠節嘅共同主席 Justin Justin Kwan 上台支持 Hello everyone, and as the MC has said, my name is Justin Kwan. And as a volunteer co-chair of the 17th annual TV Vancouver Chinatown Festival, I would once again like to welcome everybody for coming to today's event. Making this possible was no easy task, and it's thanks to the hard work of all the volunteers we have. And let, let me tell you just how honored I am to be representing this large group of hardworking and dedicated volunteers. Having volunteered here for five years now, I can say from experience that it's thanks to all the directors and staff that we have for guiding and mentoring us to become the leaders we are today. Including, um, through the time I spent here in Chinatown, I learned here more here in our office than I ever had in school about time management, trust, teamwork, and life skills including diplomacy, communication, and problem solving. I have acquired confidence, found new friends, and shared a few laughs throughout the years. And without a doubt, I changed from the playful youth I was to the developing young man I am today. And as the leader of the Vancouver Chinatown Business Improvement Area Society, I am proud to be working here in historic Chinatown. It is a great experience making this festival and every festival before that. There's always something unique and new challenges always pop up along the way. But whatever it is, I've always had a blast solving it. And as you can see, this year's uh, theme, the theme for this year's festival is Hong Kong. And if you walk towards our theme area, you'll see a photo gallery highlighting the five different eras of Hong Kong history. In our other sections, we have a huge variety of activities, such as walking tours across Chinatown in our culture corner, vendors in our day market, and family fun games in our kids' corner. I also encourage everyone to stay here at our stage for the Young Star Challenge today for a show that will be the highlight of your day. And tomorrow there will also be a youth talent showdown, a tight competition showcasing the musical talents across the Lower Mainland. Again, I would like to thank the sponsors, the volunteers, the directors and the staff for making this festival possible. And I would again like to welcome everybody and have a, please, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Albert, Jordan, and Justin. Now we would like to invite Mr. Richard Lee, MLA from Burnaby North, to come on stage and say a few words. Thank you, Justin. Uh, thank you, Michael and uh, Jessica. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today uh, to join you in this opening of this uh, festival. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, recognize my colleague as well, uh, a member uh, from uh, uh, Vancouver Mount Pleasant, uh, as well as uh, visitor from uh, Toronto and Hong Kong. Uh, we met yesterday and, and, and I'm very pleased to see you again, uh, Nick Choi, Mr. Nick Choi. Uh, and also, of course, uh, we have many friends, uh, Albert and, and all the uh, executives uh, of this uh, uh, association. Uh, I, need, I know that this is a joint effort with many uh, uh, supporters, uh, especially uh, TD Bank uh, for a uh, title sponsor. Uh, so this is a great day for uh, people around Chinatown and people who would like uh, to have uh, some Chinatown experience to come uh, to have a great day. I used to live just a few blocks uh, around uh, near prior and places uh, for uh, many years. Uh, uh, I know that uh, there will be uh, some development of the St. Paul Hospital just down Chinatown. So this will be a more vibrant uh, uh, area and I, I can see a lot of development. The other day I was with my wife, we visited uh, uh, the Vietnamese uh, restaurant. Uh, very popular. Wait for uh, one hour to get in. So I think this is a, a good area for uh, people enjoy uh, food and uh, and the culture. So thank you very much for organizing this event again. And on behalf of the province, uh, thank you. And also legislature. Uh, thank you very much. Today I'm very happy to be here for this event. Today I'm very happy to be here for this event. 香港人啊,所以呢亦都係講幾句廣東話啊。香港呢其實同温哥華係息息相關嘅,做咗批移民呢好多啦,係喺香港嚟,我都喺香港住過七年啦,但係我冇攞嗰個所謂呢個嘅
啊、我哋嘅、啊、蔡志傑、啊啊啊、副處長過嚟咧、啊，為我哋、啊、主持今日嘅活動。咁啊，亦都係多謝華埠商會啊、華埠嘅促華促會啊，啊為我哋、啊、主要咧係、啊、為我哋組織、啊、今次嘅活動。多謝各位、啊、祝大家嘅愉快嘅下午。多謝 ，thank you。Thank you, Mr. Richard Lee. Now we would like to invite Melanie Melanie Mack、uh, to come up here and make a short speech. 跟住落嚟咧，我哋有請我哋嘅 local MLA Melanie Mac for a speech. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Simgaget, Sigamanak, Gubu Wilsuk, honored guests, matriarchs, chiefs. Thank you so much for inviting me.、Uh, I'd like to acknowledge that we're gathering on the unceded territory of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh First Nations people. I'd like to thank the Crater for giving us this beautiful sunshine and the tremendous turnout. I'd like to acknowledge the 200 volunteers, youth that are here today, the board,、uh, the BIA for making this possible, and of course your signature、uh, sponsor TD、uh, for making this day possible. What I、uh, wanted to share with you, I'm a very proud member of the legislature. I'm First Nations. I'm Niska, Gitsan, Cree, and Ojibwe. On February 2nd, I became the first First Nations woman to ever serve in the BC legislature. Which is a strong tradition that the NDP has. Jenny Kwan, your member of Parliament, isn't here today, but she was the first Chinese woman to ever be elected in the legislature 20 years ago. So I look forward to carrying on a strong tradition here in Mount Pleasant to make sure that we advocate for the cultural revitalization, that we preserve the strong roots and heritage here in Chinatown, but acknowledge that this is a cross section of society where tourism meets. Social justice, which means culture and economic development. So I'm so honored to be here as a guest and to witness this amazing opportunity to have this cultural fusion and cultural exchange.、Uh, I'd like to acknowledge my city councilor colleagues and, of course, my member of parliament colleague、uh, Richard Lee. Have a wonderful day and make sure. I just want to give a shout out to the young people.、Um, we really can't, couldn't have had this day without the young energy of the youth, and they're the ones that are driving. The importance of having cultural retention here in Chinatown. So I look forward to being a strong advocate for you in the legislature. Thank you. In appreciation of the generous support Chinatown Festival received from Overseas Chinese Affairs Office of the State Council of People's Republic of China and the Council General of the. People's Republic of China in Vancouver. The organizer would like to present a plaque of appreciation to Jubilee Council. Oh, sorry. In fact,、um, the Jubilee Council would actually like to make a speech first. So, and then we will present the plaque. <laughs> 好多謝啊、uh, ，Melanie Mac 女士。啊、uh, ，我哋跟住日落嚟咧，又請中華人民共和國駐温哥華副總領事啊、uh, ，Tian Ni 女士上嚟支持。Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Ah,、uh, on behalf of the Chinese Consulate General in Vancouver, I would like to express my warmest congratulations. To the opening of the TD Vancouver Chinatown Festival of 2016, I know that、uh, there are more than 50,000 visitors last year attended various activities of this festival. So I believe this festival is a good platform to showcase the multiculturalism of Vancouver and BC. The The theme of this year is Hong Kong. As the pearl of the Orient, the culture is fascinating there, and I believe you will enjoy the delicious food and the fascinating culture. And wish all the success of the festival. Thank you. We would like we would like to invite Albert and Jordan. Sorry. Miss Tin, can can you please stay on stage? We would like to invite Albert and Jordan to come up and present a plaque of appreciation. Albert and Jordan, 我哋而家有請啊華埠商會誒華埠商業促進會主席啊霍啟恩先生同埋我哋今次嘅華埠資格共同主席
Let me put it on. Sit down. And bang, bang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, happy birthday, Ben Ben! Today is Ben Ben's birthday! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you. Next, we would like to invite the Deputy Director of Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office, Nick Choi, to, to bring us his greetings and receive his plaque. Okay, thank you. Next, we'd like to ask uh, the Deputy Director of Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office, Nick Choi, to bring us his greetings and receive his plaque. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, this is my great pleasure to be here with all of you today to uh, at this uh, Vancouver Chinatown Festival. Uh, the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office is really happy to know that uh, the festival has picked Hong Kong as the film of the year. In fact, Hong Kong. Yeah. In fact, Hong Kong and Vancouver share so many similarities. Uh, Hong Kong share, um, is proud to be the super connector for overseas company to tap into the opportunities in Asia, including mainland China. While Vancouver is well positioned um, as the gateway to North America for companies from the other side of the ocean. And business aside, um, the tourist world. <laughs> Business aside, uh, both Vancouver and Hong Kong are having beautiful scenery of harbor as well as the um, mountains. And well, it brings out some mind. Yeah. <laughs> and it is uh, really a pleasure to know that uh, we have an uh, exhibition of Hong Kong photos at this year's festival. If you got the time, I encourage all of you to take some time to have a look because the uh, pictures exhibition uh, showcase pictures of Hong Kong from as early as 1860s. And if you got a chance, I also encourage you to visit Hong Kong to see our iconic harbor, our iconic sky view, as well as our beautiful countryside. Last but not the least, thank you very much to the uh, Vancouver Chinatown BIA Society for organizing this wonderful event as well as picking Hong Kong as the film of the year. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mr. Choi. Okay, we'd, we'd like to invite uh, the co-chairs of the festival, Mr. Jordan Ng and Mr. Justin Kwan to come up for a presentation. Thank you, Mr. Choi. So, next up, we'd like to invite Elizabeth May, the Deputy Mayor of the City of Vancouver, to come up for a, a speech. Councillor Reimer back there in the background. Councillor Reimer, I know she's here. And I 
you want to, say, if you would like to come up, I would be thrilled to have you on stage with us. I do want to say that all of City Council is enormously supportive and so proud of Chinatown, and for all the wonderful activities that this revitalization has made possible. So we're thrilled to be here today. We're thrilled to be able to open the festival with you. And now I would like Councillor Carrie Jane to say a few words as well. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, you know, it's Vancouver and Hong Kong today share one thing in common: is hot weather. We also, as uh, as uh, as Albert was saying, there's fewer restaurants right now in Chinatown to support the other ones. But I also noticed on my last trip to Hong Kong, there are fewer that by dog. So there's a thing that's changing. However, I just really want to. Um, Re bring greetings to everybody. Welcome everybody to Vancouver's Chinatown. Try the food. I got here at 10 a.m. this morning to make sure I can get a seat in a restaurant. So make sure you eat. Be happy. And when you go to Hong Kong, get a nice soup. When you come to Vancouver, go see the mountains. It's a lot of fun the other way you go. Thanks, everybody. Once again, my apologies, Miss Paul. It's Elizabeth Paul, Deputy Mayor. Vancouver Chinatown Festival include the organizer, the Vancouver Chinatown BIA Society, our major supporters, the City of Vancouver and the Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office, our major sponsors, Overseas Chinese Affairs Office of the State Council of the People's Republic of China, our title sponsor, the TE Bank Group, our supreme sponsors, IL Yen and Company LLP and Easy Park, our diamond sponsors, Church's Chicken, J Long Signs, Krispy Kreme, Prospero International Realty, VL Rail Canada Inc. Our gold sponsors, Canada Safeway, Dollar Food Group, Kyushin Trading Co. Limited, Pacific Crown Investment Corporation, and our premium media sponsors, CHMB AM 1320, LS Times TV, Omni Television, The Peak 102.7, and Van City Buzz. And finally, our media sponsors, Ming Tao Daily News, Chinese, Canadian Chinese Express, Sing Tao Newspaper, and Today Commercial News, and the Vancouver Courier. Thank you so much. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful day again. Okay. Um,